Welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. And before we go into our entertainment <laughs> news, guys, everyone saw it. BET Awards on Sunday. Diddy fell into the stage during that 20-year <laughs> bad boy reunion. It was a great performance, but he fell into the stage. We all saw it happening. Anyway, case closed in point. Let's find out you what Zoe's got, got for us. Yeah. Yeah. I love how the show went on. Well, with somewhere I'm thinking a little bit of a showstopper. It's actually our first story. It's between Brittany and Iggy. And what's happened is the Pretty Girls girls, they're not so happy with each other. There's a little bit of tension going on because on Twitter, Iggy tweeted saying, you know, it's oh, difficult to send a song up the charts without additional promo uh, and TV performances, etc. Unfortunately, I'm just featured. So oh. that is a major stab in Britney's direction. I mean, the song didn't do that well on the charts. No, it didn't, it but I... didn't I, click. I'm just all about people the need? Yeah, what is the need to get petty? Yeah. You know? um, two incredibly successful stars, really. How is that going to affect their bottom line? Just be know? like Bastion and be like just Bastion. appreciate <laughs> everyone. Yeah, be full on. Full <laughs> on, man. But the thing is, you know, Britney didn't just leave it there. She she responded <laughs> saying something along the lines that, you know what, I can't wait to get back to Vegas. So thankful I have shows for the rest of the year to look oh, yeah. forward to. Oh. And then she used the hashtag, you want a piece of me. Oh, <laughs> my word. Word. The shade, the shade. All right, what's the other story? Well, um, I mean, Caitlyn Jenner, she's making a... She, no, she's always making news. And next month is the Epsi Awards. And she will be... It will be her first time at the awards. Oh, wow. And uh, a lot of designers really want to dress her. Yeah. And belief. so she's like, you know, she's got all these options at her, so she doesn't know what to do. But um, she's just at least saying, you know, she doesn't want to choose a designer her ex-wife is close to, which is yeah. quite, I uh. think, is kind of nice. <laughs> this is actually the first time that I can see the past self in that, that face. I think so many of the pictures that we've seen have been treated and, and doctored. Um, but, but fantastic that, that the world has embraced her in this way. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see which designer she actually decides on. You know? Yeah. Hey? Well, there she is. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just glad that, you know, she is... Kind of getting onto that trend where she's moving on along and now she's able to engage in kind of normal public things like she would because she, yeah. she's a public figure. But anyway, uh, from that note, let's uh, check out the 5FM Top 40 with Mr. Nick Hammond. And of course, we've got some cool, cool uh, South African artists that are yeah, on the Top 40. Week, Albert, Nonku Piri, Tribal. Very, very proud of the sound that we're bringing out out of our country. Check it out.